We start by putting up all the signs to alert traffic that we are working ahead and that there's a flagger ahead controlling traffic. We'll put up three different signs in each direction. The road construction ahead sign, the one lane road ahead sign, and the flagger sign. These three signs will alert drivers that there is road work ahead and there's a flagger controlling traffic. We roll out light carts to shine lighting on the flaggers because at this time of the year it's still dark outside at 7 in the morning. Once we have the flaggers in position and traffic stopped in one direction at all times, we start putting barrels into the road to keep cars and trucks from coming down the side of the road we are going to be tearing out and replacing. We get the barrels set up and the machines race into position to start removing. The section of pavement we are removing is directly in front of an asphalt plant. This is the time of year when asphalt plants are pushing out trucks before the winter season hits. But for today, the asphalt plant is shut down while we remove and replace the road here. Got a little skeleton crew today on Saturday. Some people got told not to come until 8 o'clock or 8.30. We have to separate the asphalt layer on top of the concrete base. Otherwise, the recycling yard that the dump trucks are taking the material to will charge extra. Huh? Almost had her. Almost had lost her. her. Lost what? We almost had a little bit more. The location of this project happens to be within a transition of a two-lane road going into a four-lane road, which requires us to open the road up by the end of the day. Since the section we are doing today is in the middle of the driving lanes, we will be able to open up the road once we are done pouring concrete. Keep in mind, everything we tear out today has to be poured in with concrete and open back up by the end of the day. To make this happen, we add calcium into the concrete to make the hardening process speed up. That section of pavement the skid steer is sitting on, we poured yesterday. Within an hour of tearing up the road, the sun is shining and there's now a huge hole in the road where cars were just driving. The machines are prepping the hole as they near the end. Engineers wanted the control joint saw cut to help make sure the concrete cracked where it is supposed to crack. The machines are done tearing out the road and it's now time to place all the steel before concrete arrives. Dowel bars are drilled into the existing concrete on each end of the hole and rebar is drilled into the side of the new concrete we poured yesterday. Dowel baskets and steel mesh are then placed into the hole as concrete is ordered and on the way. The first of many concrete trucks is here and already mixed. As long as the concrete trucks continue to arrive back to back, we should have this hole filled back in quickly.
Welcome back to Kane Construction. You know, we're out here for hey, concrete. Uh, you want to swing over here? to cover up the patch to help heat the concrete so it will harden quicker. We lay cut up tires on the blankets to weigh it down. These are the same tires that we use for the orange barrels. We will then place barrels around the patch to keep traffic from going into the new concrete and open the road back up as we're finished for the day.